take over entertainment, take over politics, take over government. And that is why the confusion that happened during the election happened. That confusion exposed the church. All these false prophets that paraded themselves all over Nigeria. They started by saying, Tinibu will not win. Then after they declared him winner, they now say he will not be sworn in. They now say on the day of swearing in, he will be arrested. And Obasanjo has prepared soldiers to take over government. Nonsense. Even their minds is corrupted. And that is why we keep saying, calm down. Let's teach you Bible. You call us heretics. Let ignorance disgrace you before the world. Some churches fasted and prayed for Tinibu to die. The man is your commander in chief deal with that that's how when buhari entered office a lot of christians began to say he will die they even said when he went to outside the country that he will not come back alive christians churches that he will die the man did eight good years and went home younger than when he became president to show that the lord is upright and there is no unrighteousness in him god is not a killer and with these false prophecies, they have destroyed the faith of many people. Because many people fasted and prayed sincerely that Tinibu should die. And their God traveled. So now if you ask them to pray, they are not sure God will answer. They have eroded their faith. They have shipwrecked their faith. Because of lack of understanding that there is a difference between the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world. How many of you remember I told you that this thing... God is not involved. Did I tell you that? It's a contest. It's a competition amongst men. And in a competition, men set the rules. In a competition, men draw the border lines. In a competition, men judge the competition. And in a competition, men announce the winner of the competition. True or false? Anything that a man will set the rule cannot be God. God is not a man. Your elections, the rules are set by men. Your constitution is drawn by men. It's not Bible. It's not God. It cannot be God. God does not install presidents. God does not install presidents. Men vote who should rule them. There's a process that is set by men. And men will determine who wins. And men will announce. Didn't you go to school? It is called a democracy. What is a democracy in social studies? Government of the people, for the people, by the people. How did you bring God in? The government of God is a theocracy. You didn't hear what I said. The government of God is a theocracy. That is God's government over his people. There is no theocracy anywhere in the world. It is democracy all over the world. That is why preachers in America kept saying Donald Trump will win and kept saying it. In fact, one woman of God was on television praying, Oh God, oh God, send Afri African angels, send African angels to come to America and make Donald Trump win. Look at caricature, disgracing themselves, disgracing themselves, men and women of God, embarrassing themselves before the world, before unbelievers, before other religions, making a caricature of themselves, allowing themselves to be overtaken by lust, ambition, and greed all of us want nigeria to be better including myself i want a better nigeria i want a great nigeria i want us to have the best of government i want us to have development i desire it so greatly but it can never be the kingdom of god it can never be it is still the kingdom of men it is still operated by men and anything that men do can never be perfect anything that men are involved anything that it is orchestrated by men within the boundaries of men it can never be perfect Somebody even said that if Tinibu becomes president, we should amputate his leg. He said, amputate my leg. We're looking for him. Somebody even said he's a prophet. If Tinibu becomes president of Nigeria, there is no God in heaven. Look at that charlatan. That's a charlatan. That's what? A charlatan. Some churches, even pastors, stood on the pulpit and said, vote for this man. This man is the will of God. Let's fast and pray. How can a pastor be partisan? The pulpit is not a place for politics. The pulpit is a place. It is the pillar and the ground of the truth of the gospel. You don't use your pulpit except you don't know what the gospel is. And I don't blame that. Many of them don't know what the gospel is.